Hey everyone, it's Fairy Meadow. I am, I've been stuck in kind of a painter's right lately and I've just been sort of painting the same things a lot. Um, even personally in my own sort of professional field of this. And I thought, um, why not paint something I rarely ever, ever paint? I almost never paint birds, which is kind of um, a strange thing because I like birds and I just don't paint them very much. So I was thinking I would do like a bird design, maybe trying something different would kind of jolt me back into a creative state of mind. Um, those of you who subscribe probably realize or have noticed that I haven't been uh, painting or posting as many paintings lately. I've been painting a lot, just not anything worth making a video of. So um, to get out of my box, I hope you're bearing with me. I know I've been rambling on. I'm going to grab some water really quick and paint a bird. See how prepared I was? All right. So, thanks for being so patient. Let's get some hair clip action. I know you love watching that. So, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to try and do something I almost never do with a square three quarter inch brush, which I think a lot of you have seen me use. And I'm gonna use my cool prism cake, which if you just looked, you will see how messy it is right now because I've been fiddling with it a lot lately. So I guess, um, let's see here, make a circle. Now the body. That wing went down into the eye just literally because I have nowhere else to put it. So there's my um, basic bird shape. I am going to quickly make a yellow beak. And I'm just using a round number four brush and some Maron yellow paint to do this. And my beak is just going to be a tiny little triangle. Right there. And I'm just going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to bring in some white paint with a smaller brush. This is the number three round brush. It's kind of a long one. It's, you can see about how long it is. And I'm just going to make some definition on the wings and the body. Here's the other one. My body out. And out. And I'm just going to make some long thin teardrops to sort of make the tail. So I'm going to come from the outside and work my way up toward the rest of the bird. Make a little dot for where the eye is going to be. And add a little light to the head. And to the beak. And the end of that beak. So there's the basic bird. It's not great, but I guess it could be worse, maybe. Like I said, I don't paint a lot of birds. Maybe if I add a little light to it. Some more feathers.
We'll add some black in a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is something familiar, something that I like doing. I'm going to take a nice big fat brush. This is again number five, or number six. I'm going to make some flowers sort of going around my bird. Somewhere for him to hang out. You guys are really bearing with me. Big paintbrush. Big round one. Number... I don't know. It says Paradise Makeup AQ814. So, whatever that means. I'm going to take some purple paint, Maron purple paint. I'm going to load that with um, this paintbrush that I just dipped in some white to kind of make two colors in one. I'm just double loading my paintbrush, which means basically half of it's white, half of it's purple. Yeah, make some flowers. Just sort of curving up and around. This one's going to come down. You can see the white sort of um, starts to take over and the pearl starts to fade away. So you get a lot of um, different tones when you just, I only loaded one brush to do that one, two, what, six different flowers. I'm just going to add a little white to this one. There. Now let's bring in some red. All these flowers really pop out. Lots of flowers floating around my eye. And a bird. Now I'm just going to add some green. So we have some leaves. I'm just using the exact same big old round paintbrush. This has got to be like a six or a seven. I really don't know exactly. So making lots of leaves. Some big, some small. Variety is what makes it look sort of organic. Sort of scatter them. Doesn't have to be perfect. And if you want, you can take that nice number three round paintbrush and just a nice thin one again. And you can make some um, lines. Going around your bean. A swirl here and there. Now we're going to add some outlining so this whole thing pops. We're going to take some black paint and go ahead and trace some of these lines and make this bird a little bit more um, uh, clear looking.
So you can really see those flowers pop out and our birds sort of have a little more color and personality. see it all sort of popping out a little bit better. And then I'm just going to take this. These are details and they're also laid by Baron. And I'm just going to bring some white dots into the whole thing. And that'll be all done. Well, it's not the world's cutest bird, but I guess it could be worse. Um, I don't know if this is going to make it YouTube or not, but if it does, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good night, and hopefully I get through this weird artist block thing that I've been going through. There it is. Little bird. Meh. Sorry. Right.